out before I had breakfast and whilst I was kind of like debating what topics I should speak about on the podcast, but I just listened to this now. I listened to um, Russ's interview on The Breakfast Club. Russ is uh, an internet pariah of some sorts. Um, I don't know why. Um, if you're not familiar with him, Russ, Russ is a New Jersey-born, uh, Atlanta-raised rapper who kind of rose to prominence maybe a couple of years ago. Um, um, was known for releasing a song a week on SoundCloud. Um, some of these songs were getting crazy amounts of views, crazy amounts of hits. I came in contact with him through his videos, first on YouTube. And then I saw his videos and I'm thinking, how has this guy got... You know, sometimes when you stumble upon people's profiles and they've got millions of hits, but you don't know why. Because you've never heard of them, right? Because, you know, in your head, you always think like, I know everyone. I've got all the knowledge, you know. The, the fucking confidence and brass neck on some of us, right? Where we kind of like, oh, how come I don't know him? Well, you don't know him because you don't know him. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, the world's a big place, my G. Like, you're not meant to know every single artist in the world. And if you did, there's, prob there's probably a bad thing, right? Um, if, the, if this is the one of the pop most popular music genre in the world, as voted recently, then you shouldn't know everybody. You shouldn't. You shouldn't know everybody. It's a simple fact of the matter. Um, so anyway, so I saw this interview with um, with Russ, and it's a it's in a very very eye opening interview. Something that um is much needed in a culture nowadays. Um, uh, whether you're US or UK based, there is there's always a need for balance, right? In the um, in the populace uh, or within artistry or within just commentary, it needs a balance for all the kind of like carry on family sort of like um um. You know everything is okay. The the place the, the we're in the best place that we can, and it's, we're we're in the, we're in the best times ever. If you want to make it in industry, blah blah blah. For all that good stuff, for all that good energy, there also has to be um, a balance, a kind of counterbalance that's able to kind of point out all the things that are going wrong. Now it's a hard position to take up, right? Because nowadays, um, unfortunately, the moment you critique anything, or you kind of like throw shade, or you kind of um, uh, disavow. Not this vow. You kind of, I don't know. You you kind of write off something, right? You're you're accused of being a hater, right? You're not allowed to have, you're not allowed not to like things. It seems like, right? You kind of have to like things or just not say you don't like things. So someone like Russ probably isn't the right. He probably isn't. Um, he's probably at the. He's probably kind. Of, he's probably came up in the wrong era, and he probably is somebody that a lot of people that are the same age as him think is a bit corny, right? He's the guy in the party, as I think. Uh, Charlemagne pointed out to him he's the dude in the party who's telling everyone that not to drink too much right he's kind of spoiling everyone's fun for the most part but I think in general there needs to be a voice as well that counterbalances this whole notion that everyone has to be signed to a label everyone has to do uh, artist a &R this way everyone has to promote drugs pills and lean and that sort of stuff there has to be a counterbalance to it because like I mentioned previously I've mentioned it a few times all these most of these people that are promoting the overt drug use especially um doing it to an extent that's a bit crazy most of them are probably not doing it the way that you think they're doing it they're not even they're not even using as much as you think they're using they're just using that kind of character culture because a lot of people are kind of going through problems a lot of people are bored right a lot of people are just trying to fill up time a lot of people are just trying to uh, fast forward through life right and the best way to fast forward through life is to always be high and to always be drunk that's the easy way to do it trust me from somebody that's um binge drinked and binge uh high binge uh drug taking right for uh a long time i know what that kind of what where it comes from right it comes from a real place right you're in a place where you don't really enjoy your current circumstances you're not really enjoying the fact that things are taking a bit longer than what that you want it to take um you don't in fact you don't enjoy the fact that you're working a job that you don't enjoy you don't enjoy the fact that you're working with people that you don't like you don't enjoy the fact that um I don't know, you don't talk to your mom or dad. Like, there could be loads of different scenarios, right? So the best way to do it is to, the best way to numb yourself from all that pain is to make yourself drunk, it's to make yourself high. It's just what people do, right? By, I think, the moment kind of like recreational drugs, drugs came into the populace, um, that's what they were kind of co-opted to be, to be used for. I think depression and sadness, all those kind of things exist anyway, you know, especially if you're living in a society where everyone's kind of close to each other and you see someone with a gated house, you kind of always want to have that and you kind of feel a little bit sad when you can't provide for your family and blah, 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 blah. There's going to be it's going to exist but people will self-medicate rather than kind of critically do the hard work right kind of like um strip away all the fat and really look in the mirror and see what they can do better they'd rather just kind of like skip all that because that's really painful to look at that's really painful to deal with and just kind of self-medicate but someone like russ is needed in the populace we need to have a voice especially for the young kids coming up who's saying maybe taking drugs and promoting drug use isn't isn't cool, right? Because I think he mentioned it a few times in the interview that he's not against people uh, saying um, 
going kind of talking about the worlds that they drug you through their music because you know music is a platform for you to kind of express your truth but he has a problem with somebody promoting drug use especially excessive drug use on instagram right it's a bit weird right it's like when you see those guys there's a um, i think my friend sent me a picture a video the other day of those dudes like um there's a video going around i think instagram because i'm not on instagram at the moment but a video going on instagram of these two guys on um on a flight on a ryanair flight racking up lines right as the flight's taking off it's just like it's, it's it's unnecessary you don't need to do that right or um when people um post stuff of you know there's like sub, a subreddit called like trash or something right where they post a picture of somebody getting high on a bus or something right it's just a little bit you know it's a, it lacks a little bit of class lacks a bit of self uh self it lacks a bit of self-preservation it lacks a bit of dignity um you're not really respecting those around you because not everyone wants to see that so it's not cool right um but for some reason some of these younger generation some of these younger kids because social media is something that is ingrained in them and they don't really see a, they don't really see any difference between reality and social media it's just one thing maybe it could be argued that it is just one thing it's just the reality that we all kind of live in because again it affects sometimes when someone says something someone says something to you mean on the internet it doesn't affect you in real life so maybe it is real life right that could be argued that but they don't see any separation to between it so they kind of will post everything so that's why the whole maybe finstagram thing came up right because you could post stuff you could post messy shit right because no one wants to look messy on their main profile everyone wants to look like polished but on your finstagram you can be messy and post like bottles of drink you're drinking lines or insinuating that you're doing lines with a card and a straw or a picture of you like smashed or pulling a face like you can do that but I think Russ's main point that he mentioned in the interview is that he doesn't like when people kind of promote on the Instagram because, unfortunately, which is a good point, I never heard anyone mention, some of these artists have a bigger reach on social than they do on their, in their music. Or, for the most part, most people aren't really listening to the music. They're just vibing, right? That's that word, right? What's the vibe? Oh, it's a vibe. It's a vibe, right? Why? Because you're vibing to the music. The feel is giving you. It's sort of like, you know what a vibe is to me? It's sort of like encapsulating like um, Kid Cudi's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right it's all that shit right that he's not saying anything but you feel something it tugs at your heartstrings all right or when playboy carty does yeah but thing yeah but now it's me right those voices like you don't know what the fuck he's saying the first time round, right but it gets you like they don't know you. like it gets you and you want to just like, jump up and mosh and just you know that vibe it kind of gives you i mean i'm just getting goosebumps thinking about it now right so you have to be a bit more responsible to it. And like I said before, I think he's really necessary in the culture. I really am enjoying his new album that's come out, actually. It's called Zoo. Um, it's out now on all streaming platforms, so go pick that up now. Russ called Zoo. But I'll play a little bit of the interview. Um, he posted some clips on, on his Twitter page that I thought were pretty entertaining. But overall, it's a really good interview. Um, it's uh, Charlemagne and Envy kind of asked him some good questions. He kind of laid out some of his kind of uh, groundings, what he kind of thinks about things. And all, all in all, I think it was a very good interview and it kind of made, it made me more of a fan of Russ, I think, in general.